stories with you and more. He's going to slap you with science right now. That's right. <laughs> and it's Dr. Cody Stark. Thank you very much. I didn't spend $50 on the internet for nothing. Uh, you think it's hot now. The fate of the Earth is far much warmer than today's temperatures. Earth could turn into a hothouse planet like Venus with boiling oceans and acid rain if humans don't curb irreversible climate change. This is Stephen Hawking claimed in a recent interview. Despite being the same size as Earth and roughly the same gravity as our home planet, it's a far, far cry from our water drenched planet. Venus is the hottest one in the solar system, That's with temperatures hot. reaching 870 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot. Yeah, you've been slapped with science. Uh, hundreds of feet below the surface of the sea, a lionfish stalks its prey, it splays its colorful fins, darts forward, then gulp. A tiny colored fish disappears into the predator's stomach. Did we do that for you in your head? Did we do that? Uh, scientists in a nearby submarine caught this deep sea drama on film, then realized that the lionfish snack had been a brand new unnamed species <laughs> that we've never seen before. But now it's been eaten, so we'll never see it again. This newly discovered ember gobby uh, lives in deep coral reefs in the Caribbean Sea and travels in schools by the hundreds. Thankfully, the ember gobby population seems to be plentiful, but the species remained undiscovered until now. How about that? You've been slapped with science. And people often recommend planting trees to make cities greener and cleaner and healthier. But during the heat wave, city trees can actually boost air pollution. There's a new study. It found that uh, up to 60% of the smoggy ozone in a city's air on hot days may trace to chemicals being emitted by trees. The new findings do not mean cities should discourage tree planting. Instead, cities may need stricter controls on other sources of pollution, such as tailpipe emissions uh, from cars and trucks. And you've been slapped with science and then one knee. Uh, there you go. Back to you. He only added the knee for you. Oh. Well, you can